Ladies and gentlemen, Tattoo of Arts here, and welcome to a vehicle tour today. Now today, we're going to be having a good look around the Grey Cat ROC. This is a mining vehicle, very, very uh, small one at that. Today, we're going to have a good look around, and uh, you can also give your feedback on what you think about it in the comments as well. So let's get started. First of all, let's have a look at the size. So you'll compare it to me, I'll zoom out a little bit, give you a bit of an idea. Not massive. I did try to put it inside of a freelancer miss. It doesn't really fit. I mean, it will go in. It is about the same size as the doors, but you can't move from the front and the back. And it rattles around the back like there's an alien on board. So, yeah. Some cool things on this one. First of all, the wheels are a bit weird. They're almost like the wheels you get at airports, aren't they? They don't really appear to be sort of off-road terrain tyres. Performs well. Flies along. Absolutely. A couple of sort of things you need to take into note with this thing as well. Sort of got these uh, protection things on the side. And you notice there's no glass here. So this is open to the elements. Now it has glass around the front. You can't quite see it, but this is glass here. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you're going to need oxygen and, a, and uh, a suitable environment suit based on where you're going. So here at the moment, as you can see on down the bottom, down here... You can see the temperature. We're fine here, so you'll be fine mining here, no problem. If you're going to a very, very cold place, you have to make sure you've got the right suit. And also make sure you've got enough oxygen as well. Now, where do I sort of think this fits in? Um, I actually sort of think... I'm inclined to say that this probably fits in with supporting other miners, like players, hand mining, or going down a mine that maybe a prospector or another vehicle can't get down to go and mine. Uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. We'll carry on looking around. you got first aid kit there. That's sort of a purpley colour. Assuming that's the bag there. Maybe that's some sort of fire suppression system. Guessing. Brake lights around the back. And this is why I'm saying that maybe uh, it'd be quite good if there's maybe three or four of your friends going down a deep mine. And maybe, you know, your role is to bop down there and um, unload all their stuff. Did you get one of these? Now, the prospect has got one of these. Now, I don't know this for certain because there's no information on this ship. This uh, ship? Sorry. There's no information on this um, vehicle at all at the moment. There's no Q&A. It's not even sort of in-game yet. So I've, I've been given one just to sort of try out. So I'm sort of guessing. I'm guessing that that is going to be a um, ability to offload from a player's point of view. The prospect's got the same thing, right? If you look at the back of the prospector, it has the same little door. Either that or it's a canister you take out and you empty. It's one or the other, isn't it? Is there any giveaways near it? What does it say? Access. No writing on it, is there? Brake lights around the back. Decent suspension as well, so when you're flying along. We'll take a look inside in a second. See the arm there as well. That sort of telescopes out. If you know what I mean. And then the way you get in is around the front there. So you come up the front, open there, and away you go. I don't know if you can see the glass on there. It's hard to see, isn't it? Although you can see the reflection of the moon there in the glass on the other side. And in we get. Shame that it didn't have uh, oxygen and windows, eh? Because that would just made it much better. You just got to take more into consideration. So what we do first of all are, um, I think what we do is we are uh, we power off and not. This way you hear the uh, startup sequence as well. Here we go. Ready. Systems activating. Systems on. There we go. I think we've done a pretty good job inside. The displays look pretty good. Keep in mind that this one's really work in progress, i.e. it's, you know, new-ish, not even on sale yet. Glass up the top there as well. Like I said, open to the elements there. They do have lights as well. I'm sure they're going to update this because the, the lights at the moment, if we have a look from the outside, come around this side. They look okay from the outside. So that's sort of pointing up in the air, isn't it? What do you think? 
if we go back in uh, back inside again and turn them on it's just not very useful when you're uh, bopping around need some sort of lights at the floor in front here well, you can drive like this or you can go into uh, third person we can do that as well just turn them off and we're going to zoom around a little bit and off we go so we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more we we'll take it for a bit of a uh, drive and then uh, we'll extend the old beam thing out. Pretty nippy. It goes quite well. The only thing I think they probably need to add into the game is the ability to flip a vehicle. If it if it uh, goes on its side, because that is a bit of a challenge at the moment. If this goes on its side, it's very, very difficult to get it up the other way. Unless you're lucky on you know, sliding sideways or hit it with another ship. Yeah, ultimately, it's a pretty uh, nippy little thing, isn't it? So, let's get the old uh, debris out, shall we? There we go. That's it. Sort of reminds me of a... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's like a little robot, isn't it? And then, obviously, we can go inside now. And... Oh, it won't let me do it here. Let's move a little further away. We'll pop over here. Here we go. Moved a little bit further away. I'll zoom out a little bit as well so you can uh, see the old beam. Hey, There's the old Hoover one. Challenges that you do have at the moment. There will be some... Uh, there will be some rocks you can find. You can do all the normal uh, scanning thing, like as before. The challenge is at the moment, it does seem to find the big rocks, and the big rocks you can't break. Now, that's not saying you won't be able to break them later by changing out the uh, lasers. That's just clearly not an option right now, so we can't do it. But yeah, looks pretty cool. Overall, what do I think? Good, uh, good little vehicle. The only downside, I would say, is once again, is the environmental aspect of it. You just have to go prepared. Um, I do like it. It's pretty cool. I think if you've got a bigger ship as well, you could just park it in the corner, couldn't you? Park it in the corner. Bit of mining to do. Get this thing out. You can fly down like a cave. If you've got four or five other people down there, you can. they can all rush around the back. I'm guessing here, right? Um, empty all their stuff out. You zip out the tunnel. Empty out into something else and then come back. That'd be pretty cool. We'll have to wait until we see the Q&A. It's a bit of speculation here. But let me know in the uh, comments what do you think. I think it'd be a good little buy. Probably perfect for something like a freelancer Max or something. It'd fit in there nicely and give you a bit of clearance also to the left or right. And that's sort of it on this one today. It's a very, very short one. If you want to see this one in a little bit of action, I did actually stream yesterday as well. Go and check that out. Also, I'll leave a link in the description as well to a link to Discord. If you want to come and say hello or just hang out with some like-minded individuals. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.